Now it's time to turn our attention to this week's honoree. For years, this New Yorker, along with a group of dedicated volunteers, has traveled the city to bring the gift of song to seniors. Take a look. This is New Yorker of the Week. For Eva Swan, the best part about performing is connecting with the audience. And it is especially meaningful when she sees seniors energized. Yes, so many people age. There's something that happens in that they become much more isolated. This type of joy is something that they don't have the luxury of getting in their daily lives. And coming to them directly to bring music to them and just bring them back to their happy times, get them back to their joyful selves is so important. So Eva brings them harmonies that warm their hearts. 16 years ago, she founded Vocal Ease. The nonprofit taps a network of 65 professionals who sing every week for adults in nursing homes, hospitals, and senior centers across the city. Eva rarely misses a performance. The passion that she has for this organization is, is palpable and it's infectious and it's the reason that we have a roster of just absolutely outstanding performers. The show was very enjoyable and uh, it was really nice to be here. Eva and her volunteers transport these older adults to their yesteryears with nostalgic melodies, all for free. If you start singing a song from their era, they can sing every word of the song with you. It, it brings them back to their happier times, their more lively times, their great memories. Everyone came up and they all just gave us a hug. And like, think about that. Like, think about 30 amazing, you know, seniors here in New York giving you a hug. It was amazing. Every performance is an hour long, enough time to inspire the entire room. It just lifted me up. I loved it. I mean, here I am getting all choked up over this one song. But, um, yes, I would see them again. She's a talented lady, a smart woman, very attractive. Our great singer, <laughs> did I go on? <laughs> I think I'm in love with her. <laughs> and so, for lifting the spirits of seniors through song, Eva Swan is our New Yorker of the Week. And joining us now in our studio is our New Yorker of the Week, uh, Eva Swan. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. You've got a fan base, uh, folks wanting to uh, marry you. They love you so much. That was Bob. Said. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so take us back a couple of years, Eva. What sparked this idea for Vocalese? Singing has always been so important to me. It is my background. I became involved in some volunteer singing in New York City. I didn't know how infectious it was going to be. I got a bug and I wanted to do more. And I was on my own search as to where I fit in as a performer. And one day I just realized that I should start my own organization. And I never turned back from that. What was it like in those early days and months? Uh, were you surprised by the reaction of the seniors when you'd walk in and sing for them? Not really, because I had enough previous experience with other organizations. So I can't say it was a surprise, but it is a surprise how deeply fulfilling it is. Some people think that, oh, you're making other people happy, but I have to tell you that they give me as much as I give them. Yeah, let's talk about that for a moment. Uh, what, how has this changed you, this journey, for the last couple of years? It's given my life a lot of purpose. I go out and I make people joyful, and I bring so many other talented performers in to do the same thing, and they feel that same joy, too. Describe the changes you notice in your audience members uh, when the music starts. We touched upon it, obviously, in the piece, but uh, maybe someone's new. You obviously knew Bob, right? You, you just referenced him, so he's familiar. You've probably been to his uh, place where he lives uh, many times. What about the person who sits down for the first time, not knowing what to expect? Here comes uh, Eva and her, and her performers. Uh, what changes do you see in the individual? I see them smiling. I often see them singing along. Sometimes you even see tears rolling down their face if you're, seeing, if you're singing a sentimental ballad. Occasionally you'll see them come out of their seats and dance with each other. And one of the performers talked about the hugs. Right. We did this one show at Manhattanville Senior Center, and it was a delightful audience that was so cultural and so involved and so connected. And at the end of the show, every single performer was hugged by every single audience member. Wow. That's a great New York moment. It's not just good for them physically to be active, it's also good for their psyche. Uh, and you must see that every time you're performing. Yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, that gentleman, Bob, that you saw that little clip, right after the show, he came up to me and he had his arms and he said, now I can live another week. <laughs> uh, what, what's in the repertoire? What songs do you sing? Oh, so many standards. We sing Duke Ellington and Gershwin and Cole Porter and Hammerstein, and then we can get a little bit more contemporary with some 
hits from Tina Turner. Uh, we just cover the gamut. Whatever we find our audience is liking the most, we make the program tailored to them. Now, Ron, I mean, you is our New Yorker of the Week, but you mentioned uh, the network of volunteers, 65 plus of them. Um, what qualifications do the volunteers need? Who are these people? Are they also professional singers? Yes, I would say just about every singer that currently sings with vocalese has some level of professional experience. They might have regional credits for theater, some of them have Broadway credits, some of them are nightclub singers, jazz singers, and each one either comes to me very highly recommended or comes through us through an audition process that we have every year. How can New Yorkers help you? What does your organization need from us? Well, you know funding is always a big issue with any grassroots nonprofit organization. We do run on a shoestring budget, and any contributions from individuals are helpful to just keep us running, to help us with our transportation costs, our publicity costs, and so forth. We're going to have the website for our viewers in just a minute. We have about a minute to go also, Eva, in this segment. Uh, in that final uh, few, few seconds we have together, give us your vision for the organization. What's your grand plan? Where are you taking Vocalese in the next uh, 16 years? Okay. Well, we do about 135 shows a year. I don't necessarily think that we have to have so many more shows a year, but I would like um, stronger publicity so that each show gets more filled. So to capacity, rather than have 25 seniors in a room that can hold 50 people or 70 people, I would really like vocalists to get greater in-depth publicity. I also have this, this dream of having just a little bit more background musically. We strictly have a piano now. We play the tambourine and the shakers on the side. By the way, we don't have professional qualifications with those instruments. Okay. <laughs> and I would love to have a professional percussionist at each show. Just just filling it in, giving it that lift, those mm. cymbals on the brushes, you know. Maybe there's a musician watching who might want to help you out. Uh, yes. It's great stuff. Eva Swan, our New Yorker of the Week. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story with us. My pleasure. It's Thank great you. to have you here. That information, if you want to volunteer, maybe you want to help out in some form, you can go online to vocaleaseinc.org.